In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a perfect mirror like this. If you already have some experience in Blender, it may look like an easy task to build a mirror using some glass object. And it is indeed very easy. But in order to make it very perfect, we need to take care of few more things that we will discuss today. Let us start with a blank new file. We will convert this default cube step by step into a mirror, but we have to first modify its dimensions. So in the object properties, change its Y scale factor to 2 and the Z scale factor to 3. We need to make it thin as well, so change its X scale factor to 0.2. Let us also move it up to the ground plane, so change this Z location to 3. We need to make a duplicate copy of this object, because we need two separate layers here, one is for the frame of the mirror, and another layer for the glass part. So, press Shift D on your keyboard to make a duplicate copy. Then, move this copy slightly away, but please maintain some overlap with the original. The glass part should be little smaller, compared to its frame. So, go to the object properties, and lower its Y scale factor by a small amount, say 1.9. And for the Z scale, we'll enter 2.9. Next, we will cut out this part, which is the glass, from the frame object. So select the frame and go to the Modifiers tab. Then add a Boolean modifier. Please ensure that we are on the Difference tab. In the Object field, select the second cube that we have added. And then apply this modifier. If we now hide the second cube, we can see that a groove is created on the frame object. We will place the glass part exactly over this area. This second cube is actually our glass object. So let us rename it to glass. And this first cube is our frame. We will now create some suitable materials for both of them. So let us turn on the rendered view mode. We can also turn on the HDRI environment and increase its strength to get a better lighting for this scene. Now go to the materials tab. Remember, this frame object is made from the default cube, so it comes with a default material added by Blender. Let us change this white color to some dark color, maybe maroon. You can also use some wooden texture or any other material if you like. Let us fine-tune this value to 0.05. The same material is also copied for this glass object, but we need a glass here, so just delete its material. To ensure that the reflections from this glass work correctly, Go to the Render Properties tab. Turn on this Screen Space Reflections option, and expand it. Then, disable this Half Resolution Trace. This will create better reflections on the glass. Now back to the Materials tab, create a new material. We will turn it into a glass material, so increase this metallic property to 1. And then change this roughness to 0. So we get a glass material, that is reflecting the environment very nicely. However, we have to fix few more things here. First, the glass part has the same thickness as that of the frame, but it should be thinner. So go to the object properties, and change the scale factor, to 0.1. Also, the glass should go inside the frame. So, move it little bit, backward. It should not cross the backside of the frame either. Our job is not done yet. The mirror may look perfect here, but it is actually not. We will soon discover that the mirror reflects only the environment, it does not reflect any other object correctly. We should actually test it, so select everything here along with the mirror, and move them slightly backward, like this. Then, go to the Add menu, and add one UV sphere. Now, if we move this sphere, you can see that some part of the sphere is not reflecting on the mirror. It's kind of broken or missing, it is not working perfectly. We have to rectify it. So, go to the Add menu, and under Light Probe, you get an option called Reflection Plane, please add it. We have to increase its size, to match it approximately with the mirror, and we have to place it right here. The job of a reflection plane is to make such reflections very perfect on a mirror surface, and it itself remains hidden in the render. So change its X scale factor to 3, and the Y scale factor to 2. We have to now rotate it, and place it here. So change its Y rotation angle to 90 degrees. And then move it upward, by the same 3 units. We will now move the reflection plane, to bring it closer to the glass layer. It should match the position of the glass, approximately. So place it just over this, with little overlap. 
Don't push it inside the glass. So, that gives us a perfect mirror. As you can see, we now have a perfect reflection of the UV sphere. And if you add any other object, or if you move this sphere, the mirror will reflect it correctly, in any position. This technique works for a plain mirror, but if you have a curved mirror, or any curved surface working as a mirror, you need to use reflection cube map instead. We will cover that on another day. And if you want, you can also add some steps, maybe some bevel, or some designs to this frame, it will then look even more beautiful. One more important thing is, if you do not use HDRI environment, you will get a very dull output in your render, which looks very lifeless, due to the lack of sufficient light. But remember, if you just turn on the HDRI environment from here, it does not reflect in the actual render, it is only a temporary effect, just for this viewport display. We have created a very nice tutorial on HDRI lighting, that covers all basics about HDRI environment in Blender. And I strongly recommend you to watch that, if you are new to this. The link is in the video description. So, today we learned, how to create a perfect mirror, using the reflection plane, along with a glass object. I hope you like this technique. For more such tutorials, please stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.